Patch 4.0 arrives alongside the Shadows of Change DLC and brings with it Eichhold Hellbrass as your FLC hero, new achievements, stability and performance fixes, gameplay changes and balances, and 13 new legacy landmarks to Immortal Empires. These include, but aren't limited to, the glacial caves in the Fate Weaver's crevasse, the desecrated grove in the haunted forest, the valley of many eyes in the black pit, the occupied celestial palace in Weijin, and the wreck of the Talon of Agony in Hai Chai. For all you achievement hunters, we've added an additional 32 new achievements. This includes two achievements for each race within the game that didn't already have them, giving everyone from the Warhammer trilogy the chance to track their ultimate victories on any difficulty, with a second achievement for doing the same on Very Hard or Legendary. There have been some changes to how the AI will act in battle depending on the difficulty level you choose. With the addition of a difficulty scale, you can fine tune your experience. For example, on easy difficulty, the AI ranged forces will target anyone who comes into their range first. On very hard, the AI will be more aggressive, efficient, and focused by picking soft targets, focus fire one unit down if possible, and will not be baited by misfires. They will also have increased spell, missile, and artillery evasion. Staying with battles, and we've added some additional maps. Herdstone, a minor settlement map for the Beastmen, Spawning Pools, a Dominion battle map for the Lizardmen. And a selection of new Chaos Waste mountain maps. Breathe life into a world of death and destruction as the Conqueror of Kislev. Free to all players, Echoed Hellbrass is a legendary hero of Zeech and has been gifted with the power to turn death into life with a single touch but he is not a generous man, and would sooner kill than revive. Claim Echoed Hellbrass for your Zeechian armies through your CA account, and add him to your roster by completing his personal quest chain, The Tale of the True Path. We've done lots of fixes and improvements to various settlement battle maps, including fixing reinforcement positions and zones so you can no longer deploy in settlements or within the defender's area. The Laws of Light and Beast have had a complete visual overhaul, with every spell in both laws receiving new visual effects and audio treatments. We're always trying to improve the AI and how it behaves in both battle and campaign. Some AI changes to the campaign will mean that they go to war less and take longer to identify the player as their main threat. To list a few specifics, in Diplomacy, distance is now more important to the AI, which should lead to them dealing less with further away factions. Passive factions are less likely to go to war, and each war increases the negative impact on an AI faction situation, meaning they'll try to be in less wars overall. In Strategic Behaviours, the AI will be less likely to focus on regions recently captured both offensively and defensively, the AI will be more likely to make mistakes instead of placing their armies just out of reach, though that's dependent on difficulty, and the AI should focus more on nearby targets. These are just a brief taster, there's many, many more changes to AI behaviour, so be sure to check out the patch notes for the full list. Along with overall faction buffs and balancing, the races of Zeech, Cathay and Kislev are getting a few small changes. In Cathay, you'll see an update to the Wuxing Compass and a rework of the Harmony system. With the addition of Yuan Bo, we have our first Cathay in character who has campaign goals set outside the provinces of Cathay, making the Wuxing Compass, which currently only applies to regions within Cathay, increasingly irrelevant to his campaign. Instead of applying solely to regions within Cathay, the effects of the Wuxing Compass now apply to regions that are Cathayan owned. When playing the other siblings, Yuan Bo's four extra directions are present on the compass but cannot be interacted with. Whilst regular cafe and factions cannot set these directions themselves, they can benefit if Yuan Bo sets the compass to those directions. Harmony has moved from a faction to a provincial concern, balancing your construction of yin and yang buildings on a local scale. There are now distinct benefits to a province being heavily aligned with either direction, or by being in harmony. A province with a strong yin leaning embodies the introspective state of the world. Bonuses to construction, growth and control means you'll likely want to start here to get a province off the ground quickly or perhaps war is your truest agenda. 
A strong young leaning comes with bonuses to recruitment, research, and recruitment rank. Indeed, a young province will enable you to rapidly build strong armies. But balance remains important, and a harmonious province promotes long-term prosperity. Income benefits, reduced upkeep for armies in the province, and movement boosts means you can travel through your secure and harmonious heartlands quickly. Over in Kislev, we've taken a look at devotion. For a start, it can now go into the negative, meaning low levels of devotion start from zero. We also wanted Kislev to have the tools to take the fight to chaos. To that end, we've added a new commandment which is only available within the Chaos Waste which negates the effects of the uninhabitable climate, but will cost devotion each turn it's active. And we've also removed the devotion cost for constructing buildings. For Zeech, we've made a few tweaks to the Changing of the Ways and Unholy Manifestations. In the Changing of the Ways, Holt Faction has been changed to Holt Army and now targets a single army. Force Rebellion now also damages the walls of the settlement, hopefully giving the Rebellion a little extra help when they attack. Show Faction Intentions has been replaced by two alternatives. For Kairos Fate Weaver, it has become Borrow Time and replenishes an army's movement range. For the Changeling and Village, it has become Spread Corruption and is used by targeting your own army and spreading corruption from said army to the province they are inhabiting. Give War Coordination Target has become Force Peace, which forces peace between two warring factions. And the Changing of the Ways actions can now target armies when they're at sea. As for Unholy Manifestations, we've tweaked a few numbers for things like Scriveners of Insanity, Mutagenic Energies, Magic Flare, and Magic Flare Ascendant Upgraded. Check the patch notes to see the specific maths behind it all. And that's it for the 4.0 patch notes. Along with many squash bugs, there are loads more changes not covered in this video. To see the full list of updates, check the link below.